According to the Attorney General of Texas, 79,000 minors are sex trafficked in Texas at any given time, many of which fall victim right here in Central Texas. But a new nonprofit is hoping to lower those numbers. In this week's Central Texas Spotlight, Imani Payne introduces us to a ROSE program. Janice Charles is a mom, hoping to help other mothers protect their children. We have a serious problem here in Bell County. Which is why she now spends her days working with a ROSE program to prevent more people from being sex trafficked, like her daughter, Natalie. She turned 21 a week before she was murdered. Janice says Natalie was recruited at Temple High, where she was a student, and then swept into the world of sex trafficking all across the state of Texas, becoming pregnant twice. Janice often scoured ads on Backpage as a way to check if her daughter was still alive. You know, I didn't sleep for about two years. I went on very little sleep. Natalie came home at times, but was always pulled back into the life. She expressed concerns that her captor would one day kill her. She was murdered in Houston in 2016. Her murder remains unsolved. Following the tragedy, Janice connected with Janet Brown and got involved with a ROSE program, a new Bell County organization that helps trafficking victims and survivors through awareness, restoration, outreach, sanctuary, and ending demand. We understand what breaks God's heart because we see it in real life. Women are not to be bought. Hopeful their story and this new organization can combat just that. If it helps one girl, if it helps one person, then it's worth it. That was Imani Payne reporting. The organization is looking to expand and also have several events planned in January for Human Trafficking Awareness Month. If you know of someone Imani should spotlight in the future, message her at epayne at kcntv.com.